Okay? This is the Geek Preacher here with Ed Greenwood, the creator of Forgotten Realms. And it's just a pleasure to meet you. Uh, pleasure. Love your work and have enjoyed it for years. You know, as I always say, I don't recommend anything, but you know that's a joke by now. And I recommend, you know, the Forgotten Realms novels. They've been great, wonderful read. Uh, personally uh, created elements for uh, Now, how long have you been in the gaming industry now? Mm. As a as an attendee at Gen Con, as a Gen gamer, Con-y. as a gamer, as a gamer, how long have you been gaming? If you count all the games that I used to play with my dad and so on, you know which were war games before there were commercial war games. 40, 45, 46 years. So you started out gaming with your family. Yes. Yeah. But my father was a reader. They had these tactical exercise games before they were any published. And of course, I played chess and checkers and Candyland and all that. Right. And there was a cool game that Milton Bradley put out called Pirate and Traveler. We went around the world with cargoes and stuff. And I played all that stuff. I loved it. So, in that sense, I've been a gamer that long. In terms of getting paid for it, 1979. Wow. My first Dragon Heart. Wow, that's great. Do you know what issue of Dragon that was? Do you remember? The first one that, that was published was in Dragon 30. The first thing they accepted actually didn't come until Dragon 34. Divine Right, the uh, the game that they had already published. Um, I wrote some fixes for it, and, and they saved it for a, a theme issue of Divine Right. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, so that, and, but the first one was The Cursed, it's the monster from the realms in, in Dragon 30, and then The Crawling Claw in 32, and then 34, and then, uh, then I was the contributing editor, and I could bring it on, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, one last question yeah. for you. What is your favorite monster that you've ever created or been involved in creating or forgotten about? I can't pick one. You know, that's really hard. That's like, what's your favorite child? You know? Right. Uh, but, but if you came right down to it, I would have to say, in the early days of D&D, all the players read what the DMs read. You know, there was rule books, a few adventures, and dragon things. Right. So there were all sorts of monsters, like the Beholder, that had one look like the Gaspar. Okay? And crazy. See? And, and what was really great was reading new ones so that players thought they were facing this and then it did something else. I wanted to be able to scare people with a beholder that wouldn't mop the floor with a third level party. So I did all sorts of variant beholders. Some of them that just drained blood from the end of those fake ice dogs. And some of them that had ice dogs that did minor things. And they were the most fun because I could role play the ball, clothing, energy, menacing, turning. You better do something before that body turns around. And then it wasn't what they expected it to be. You know, that, right, that's, right. That, that's so my favorite would be somewhere in something to do with that. Okay. Yeah, cool. And, and uh, so, I, sorry, but I do have one more question. Yeah. So, do you think gaming, uh, tabletop gaming, is still one of the best ways to socialize with your friends and family? Sure, definitely. Because you can have fun, or you can play it competitively, or you can, you can laugh over cool new things or just pratfalls that happen at the table, and it doesn't matter. It's not going to create enemies for life or do somebody out of money or a job. It's just something fun that you share. Yeah, and, and, you know, reading is a family too, but reading is also a more private pursuit where you sit down and it happens in your head. You know, gaming is something you can share. You can, and particularly if you're playing something that's gorgeous or, or, or figures you or, or little toys that you build or move around or cards that are gorgeous, you can look at it and it fires up your imagination, but everything can share that. It's just fun. That's wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much. It's a pleasure. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Have a great time. Okay. Thanks. All right. Uh,